So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. And you now want to find Windows Management Instrumentation. So you're gonna scroll down till we find Windows Management Instrumentation, double click on it. Make sure that you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now you wanna click on restart the service. This is now gonna restart the service, see if this fixes your problem. If that's still not working, then for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in run, click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in msdt.exe space dash id space maintenance diagnostic, click on enter. And then once this comes up, you wanna click on next. If it says for you try troubleshooting as an administrator, you wanna click on that. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. See if that fixes your problem. For the third method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as an administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And then once you complete that scan, you now wanna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. And then once you complete the scan, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.